Hi, I'm Storm. And I'm Mike. And we are from Advanced Group. What are we talking about today, Storm? Um, today we are talking about all these safety glasses. Yep. And we've got quite a range here, but not yep. all of them. Yep. Um, so you obviously wear these in construction when obviously you're protecting your eyes. Yeah, lots of um, things as well, um, manufacturing um, in a lab. Um, whenever there's a, ch a chance or a risk um, of, you know, uh, getting something into your eye from um, whatever physical um, work that you're involved in mm. or nearby. Yeah. Yep. Um, should we start from your side? Sh sure. Um, okay, so this one here is called Fusion Smoke. Mm -hmm. um, now, it says medium impact. So uh, most of them say medium impact, I think. Now, um, I guess that would be a rating that would um, apply to um, mm -hmm. many different uh, safety glasses. Um, the, we'll just maybe discuss some of the features of most of these safety glasses, which will be pretty similar mm -hmm. across the board. Um, oh, actually, here's a table. You've got medium impact, high impact, molten metal and hot solid resistant. Mm -hmm. And then you've got outdoor use untinted. So, um, so there's the different um, types that you can get. Um, today, we've pretty much just all of these are medium impact. Yeah. Um, so uh, most safety glasses uh, um, use polycarbonate lens. Um, polycarbonate is what they use in um, bulletproof glass mm -hmm. um, and um, it's very, very strong and it doesn't shatter in the same way that other plastics do. So even if it does crack, it's not likely to shatter into multiple mm -hmm. pieces that could potentially end up in your eye. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so it's probably one of the best, most uh, commonly used um, plastics that's used in um in safety glasses. So uh, this one's tinted. We've got different sorts of tints. We've got no tint and then we've got lightly tinted and then we've got different color tints. Yeah. Uh, so this one's called fusion smoke. So the lens has a uh, what 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 is called or termed as a smoke tint. Um, some of them will be amber or yellow or blue or rose or, um, you know, different uh, colors. So uh, mm. I'll just undo the little string so this particular one has a, um, a handy string attached to the back, which a lot of people might like if they are taking them off and on a lot and wanting them always handy. Mm -hmm. So um, might look a bit nerdy, but it's probably very handy actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll just chuck them on. We'll go through all of these um, different uh, types and we'll mention the names. Uh, if you're wanting to buy them, obviously, you can look at them up on our website. Uh, so I'll try them on and then I'll get Storm to try them on just yep. so that anyone that's shopping online can sort of see what they're going to mm -hmm. look like. Obviously, not every glasses will fit everyone the same way. However, we can maybe give our reactions to them. So I'll just uh, chuck them on. Um, so uh, generous amount of room above the, mm -hmm. uh, between the eyebrows and the frame yep. and generous amount of room. Uh, underneath uh, where the cheekbones are and the, the bottom of the glasses. Now, the frame goes at the top but not at the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on the sides, there's sort of uh, a generous amount of lens coming uh, further back around to part towards the ears. Uh, so they're very comfortable, very clear, mm -hmm. not too obstructing. Uh, I can slightly see the frame at the top if I look up, but it's not really uh, uh, obstructing my vision. Yep. So that's those ones. If you still want to try on those, give your reaction to those. <clears throat> hey, they feel comfortable on me as well. Yeah, yeah. So, and they feel really comfortable on the nose. There's no like yeah. awkward sharp bits or anything like that. Yeah. They feel really padded. Yeah, they, fit, they yeah. look like they've got plenty of room around, which um, yeah. if they're too close to your face, sometimes they'll uh, fog up a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, because, um, and most of these will be treated with some sort of uh, anti-fog, but that doesn't last very mm. long. It might only last a week or two. Did you say these are tinted? These are tinted. They're yeah. called smoke. Yeah, yeah but, but it it's still not feels too so dark. clear. Yeah, it's yeah, still it's, really good. It's plenty clear. Yep. Yep. So there. That was the first pair, so that's called Fusion Smoke. We'll go on to the next ones, or do you want to 
do those ones I just next. pulled out these pens. Yep, okay. Where you did you find the, um, the name? Table. The table. Oh, on the front is the, the name, which um, this one's called a – oh, it's in the Breeze series, but the, this one actually doesn't have a, a proper name, so it's just called a part number 6704. Yep. Um, it's outdoor tinted. Mm -hmm. Yep. So they're all UV uh, rated to nine, block out 99% of UV rays. Um, which is pretty much industry standard. I think even the clear ones normally would have uh, the UV tint um, as well. This one's quite tight fitting around the eyes, so yeah. you've got to kind of push them out a little bit to sit on your nose. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, they do. It does feel is like it hitting it's hitting your eyelashes, eyelashes or anything. Yeah, so, but if yeah, I bring so it out and sit it on my nose, it's for okay. a different shape face or for a smaller person, they might be better suited. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that fit so, you. Or not. Uh, I'll try them on. So. Um, I can feel my eyebrows touching the top of the uh, the glasses, but um, and so, sometimes my eyelashes just maybe just nearly mm. touching as well. Um, so uh, the frame and the lens is almost all one in a way, I guess. It's mm. it's, it's a weird construction, I guess. Um, and then uh, there's probably not a lot to say about them. Uh, the vision is pretty much uninhibited by the frame. Mm -hmm. um, it's just um, probably better for a smaller person, I think. So yeah. that was the um, 6704. Yeah. Yeah. So you can go on to the next ones. This one's Mercury Smoke. Yep. The medium Impact Outdoor Tinted. Yep. Got like a kind of a brownish, purplish colour, doesn't it? Yep. What is your first thoughts? I don't know if I find them comfortable. I don't yeah. know if it's just the way these maybe yeah. have been sitting, but I just yeah. feel a bit uncomfortable on my face shape. Sure. No, it's but, good, good to know. Yeah. So it, can, it does sit a bit further away from the eyes, though. Okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah, the, it is a little, is it clearer, it's still a little bit darker. A bit than, darker. Yeah. Yep. And the frame uh -huh. didn't interfere with your vision. No. So, okay, so... Um, yeah, it, it feels reasonably comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of these that we've tried so far don't uh, like have a different amount of pressure around the ears. Mm -hmm. So these ones, a little bit more pressure around the ears. So I'm not sure I'd like to wear those all day just because yeah. of the pressure behind the ears and not having very good grip on um, these parts of the arms. Mm -hmm. I guess it needs to have that grip so it doesn't fall off. It's the... got a good grip on the nose though, doesn't it? Yeah, the Fusion Smoke seem to be have a bit of a more of a matte finish. This is a gloss finish, so mm -hmm. I think this would, um, without that pressure behind the ears, it would probably fall off more easily. Mm -hmm. Um, but, um, you know, sometimes it's good as well if you have them on the top of your head that they have a bit more pressure so they don't fall off if you're ever bending over. Yeah. So that's those ones. <clears throat> this is Phoenix Smoke. Yep. Um, <clears throat> what else do we need to discuss about them? Yeah, as you go on, just keep so trying them on. medium impact. And... Yep. I find these comfortable. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. really comfortable. Yep. And fitting on my face. Yep. So yep. these don't really have a frame at all. The sort mm. of the arms just um, connect to the lens in the top corners, mm. and, I and feel they like... wrap around the eyes, uh, nice, like in a, a fair way. Yeah. They f look like they're fairly tight around your cheekbones, no, which probably feel doesn't. It, it just doesn't look like there was yeah. a big gap like the first time. Yeah. Um, which I guess if you're using an angle grinder or a circular saw or something like that, you're going to get a bit less dust and things hitting, mm. hitting um, c coming up underneath that gap, which can be a bit of a problem um, with things like that. Mm. Yep. So um, yeah, it's got the though. matte sort of finish on the arms. It looks like these are adjustable arms as well. So um, I haven't tried to adjust them before. But uh, it potentially looks like they are adjustable in the length. Uh, does it say anything about that? Um, okay, so I try those on. These very lightly tinted. Um, enough room at the cheekbones and the eyebrows to not touch anything. Plenty of room for the eyelashes. Um, not too tight around the head sort of might be pressing a little bit down on the top of my ears, which wouldn't probably worry me for the first few hours, maybe. 
it's actually very comfortable um, and um, just a generous lens that extends right around the eyes to um, towards the ears. So these, these would be great for um, doing works outdoors with the circular saw and angle grinder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there are comfortable glasses. Yeah. Yeah. What do we got next? Uh, we've got some clear looking ones. So outdoor untinted. Okay. It's just got a code uh, 9900. Okay. Or is it? Yep. yep. So, yeah, this is a 9900 series with a clear lens. Um, and as I said, um, even with the clear lens, they should still have um, UV protection to 99 percent of uh blocking 99 percent of uv mm -hmm. yep i thought yeah these are comfortable yep uh i do need to push them forward a little bit because my yep. eyelashes are hitting them but okay yeah it feels like there's room they've, yeah they've got blue. a lot of gap yeah um between um at the top there which would probably be good to stop fogging up mm. um but um i think if i was working outdoors with them like i'd Always be worried about a bit Something of dust coming, coming around the top there, maybe uh, on your head, anyway, on mm. your face. So, um, yeah, it's still quite gappy at the top. Is it? Well. Yeah. yeah, but it's probably pretty good with me. It feels like it's more in line with my eyebrows yeah. and yours. Yeah. So, so I think this would be good for me. Mm -hmm. um, and my eyelashes aren't hitting them. Have you got yeah. extensions? So. No. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, my mini eyelashes don't hit. And um, they're a comfortable glass. Um, it's kind of not pushing into my head at all from the arms, but it doesn't feel like it will fall off. So mm. I think it's got a nice shape to it for my head. Yeah. Um, so very comfortable, very clear. And um, I can see the frame at the top of it mm. um, so, and just just at the bottom, but not too not too bad. I think this would probably bother me just slightly, yep. just having that at the top. Same but right. apart from that, it's good. Yep. Uh, yep. Um, these are MR2. Yep. Are these, they're so, tinted. Okay. These so look like tinted, yep. proper sunglasses, don't they? Yeah. I mean, these would be more in the... Um, oh, these are really comfortable. Not the designer type, um, but more of a... Um, uh, I guess you know, for, for somebody that's more a bit more fashion mm. conscious and wanting something that's a um, bit more fashionable than a safety spec. Yeah, they feel um, a bit more darker, and like... they look probably a bit more feminine than mm. some of the others. So yeah, um, you could probably get away with those. Uh, you know, just out and about. You know, um, in public, not just um, as a safety spec. So yeah, yeah, no, they're really comfortable. Them ones. Yeah. Okay, so it's probably. Yeah, they're very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Can't see too much of the frame, top and bottom. They're not mm -hmm. pushing into my head too much. Um, the darkness is, uh, you know, quite, um, quite, quite good. It's not too dark and not too um, bright. So mm -hmm. they're actually pretty good. Except I'm not sure that the most many men probably wouldn't wear these. Probably yeah. more of a feminine type. Yeah. One, although it fits and feels fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do we got next? We have a part number 6702. Yep. Um, Outdoor and tinted. Yep. So this is in the Breeze series. Yep. yep. 6702. So all of these specs are available on our website. There might be a few that we have missed in doing this video. However, um, this would be um, probably... 75% of mm. what we stock and sell. Yep. Um, they're comfortable. I feel yep. like for you, they might push on your ears again. Okay. Because like they're sitting quite comfortable for me, but yep. smaller head. And then yep. um, again, I just don't know if it's my eyelashes or not, but they're touching. Yeah. Okay. And, no, that's um, not uncommon for these smaller type glasses. Yeah. Yep. So I'll try them. those ones on. And, um, I feel I'm just touching my eyebrows, which can sometimes bother me. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a bit of a gap under here, which I wouldn't like for mm -hmm. doing um, <clears throat> construction type works where I'm, you know, making a lot of dust or it's a dusty, windy day. So yeah. um, the frame I can almost hardly see, maybe a bit down here. It's not pressing too hard not. on on the on the sides, so that's fine. Yeah. 
Um, <clears throat> they're not actually too bad. Um, they might fog up a little bit because um, they don't have as much gap mm. where the eyebrows are. So yeah. um, I don't know. It's different people's shapes. Head might be slightly different, but I'd say that's probably a smaller person type glasses. Just what getting stuff like dust coming around any of the sides is always, you know, going to be a bit of a problem on a windy day. So these are untinted for outdoor. Sixty-seven hundred breeze clear. Yeah, so we're untinted. Yep, another good, yep. comfortable. I think I do have a space underneath. Yeah, a little bit. Um, a little bit at the top too. Are your eyelashes touching there? No, they're not no, touching at all. Must be very close so though. Got, yep, got some space. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, of the clear ones that we did for, for this, I think these ones, I think they're a little bit less um, ergonomic and stuff for me just because I can sort of see a bit more frame here. Mm. Um, touching my eyebrows a touch, a little bit gappy at the edges. Yeah. Comfortable enough, but I think, I think I don't like seeing the frame so much there. It's kind of a little bit distracting. Yeah. So... Not too bad. I think they'd probably fog up a bit on me with touching the eyebrows like that. Mm -hmm. So maybe a smaller person for those, 6,700 breeze clear. Yep. And these are 9,000. Yep, Futura. Um, Futura. Clear lens, yep. yep. So they're for outdoor and untinted. Yep. So we've got a bit of a blue handle on them. Frame. Frame. Uh, sorry, arms. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> handle. Yep. So, and, yeah, so sort of frameless. These are quite soft padded. Yep, a bit grippy. Oh, yep. these ones are really comfortable. Yep. That's so, scary. again, they wrap really nicely around the mm. cheekbones. It's got a nice big gap above there if you're worried about um, fogging. Uh, fogging up. Mm. So that yeah. would be probably pretty good um, with a fair bit of protection. Yeah, I like them. Yep. Uh, so, yep. It's seems a bit like of space at the top now. Yep. Yeah. So these are very comfortable um, being mostly frameless. Um I don't have too much vision restriction. Um, I'm not sure if they're a little bit dusty or something, but they're, it's just the, um, it's just got a few little uh, light flares coming on certain parts of the glasses. Mm. I'm not sure why that is. Um, yeah, ample room above here. Um, very comfortable around the head. Um, I think that perhaps there's um, something with, this part here, which is not clear in the, um, in the middle of the lens here that oh, might okay. just distract me just a, just a tiny bit. But, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's just need a clean, but I've got a few light flares coming on different parts of the glasses, which um, makes the other ones still my favourite from the clear, which was one of the first ones, um, the, uh, whatever this one was, <clears throat> 9900. Mm -hmm had um, very, very clear, none of those light flares. So that was the Futura Clear. What have you got next? This one here. Yeah, this is X series, so yep. part number 3106. Outdoor medium, tinted. Yeah, medium impact. Again, yep. they kind of look like sorry, scroll, sunglasses again. Yeah, so okay, like so this will be more of a fashionable type glasses yep. yep probably suiting mostly more suiting women mm. than men i guess um uh the other pair that we did earlier probably looks slightly better on you these i don't know if it's the color or the shape mm. i think it's the shape i can feel that these come much lower on my cheeks yeah um which i guess if you're working outdoors in that kind of environment it might be a good thing um, yeah, not much to get. Everything kind of feels like I've got space in there, but everything kind yep. of feels like closed in, which is good. Okay, yeah. So, again, probably not very similar to your mm. description. So, in fact, they feel very similar to those other pair, yeah. the MR2, which is part number 3052. Yeah. Um, but um, probably not, not suited for someone with my... Uh, sort of face I don't think I've tried these glasses on before didn't really think much of them for myself but um you know some people um 
some people in Eastern Europe wear these sorts of styles of glasses and they look good on them but not mm-hmm. in, on men but not on um, necessarily on uh, uh, my Caucasian looking face. <laughs> these are called the general so they're clear and for outdoor untinted. Yep part number 6400 Ooh. so they've got sort of a bit of a grey uh, grey arms. Yep and um, they're very comfortable to wear but I can feel a bit a bit of a gap. Does it look like a gap? It, it doesn't look bad at Does all. It? Oh, I okay. mean, um, they feel comfortable. I think the good thing about having the gap is mm. that um, they don't fog up. That it doesn't clear. fog up as yeah. much. And f- these ones, unlike some of the others, your eyes are almost right in the middle mm. of the um, of the crest of the glasses, yeah. and the lenses, so that um, it doesn't look like there's more, you know, or less gap top mm-hmm. and bottom, and they're right right in the center. So. Yeah, they feel really comfortable everywhere. Yeah, and it looks like heaps of protection yeah. for um, stopping something going into the eye. So these are called the general. Yeah, very yeah. comfortable, super yeah. comfortable. I could wear those all day. I don't think there's any Issue. aggressive parts on them that it would bother me at all. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't really see any of the edges of the lens at all except for a tiny bit down here, which wouldn't really bother me. Mm-hmm. Um, they're very clear, so... I don't have too too many um, light flares sort of on any parts of them mm. like that other pair gave me. So they're really good, comfortable glasses. I like those. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, this one's next. So another outdoor untinted pair. Yep. Part so. number 9108. Yep. And they've got the green arms. Yep. Yep. Nine one eight zero. I think uh, you said it differently. I'm not sure, but nine one eight zero. Just to clarify. Oh, sorry. Um, Clear A slash F lens. I'm not sure what the A slash F means, but um, yeah. Uh, what are your first thoughts on those? They're good, but yeah. I just don't feel like they fit me as well as the ones we yeah. just tried on. Yeah, um, they kind of have this like momentum thing uh, it can move and around a little bit. I feel bit. like I would adjust them a lot on my face, but oh, okay. I don't know about yours, but they're comfortable in the ears and the nose and everything. It's just that they don't have that same sort yeah. of um, grip around your face. Yeah. So, yeah, they're not moving at all on my yeah. face. Um, extremely comfortable. Mm-hmm. Very similar to the last pair. You can see a tiny little bit of the edge of the glasses here. They're very clear. Mm-hmm. Um, that wouldn't definitely wouldn't fall off, so yeah, they've got they're a good shape to the arms. Mm-hmm. Um, so I like those ones as well. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's uh, three more pairs to go. Uh, part number 6702 in the Breeze series. Yep, again, medium impact outdoor and tinted. Yep. It's got quite a thin strap. Oh, they kind of like, see how they sit up on them? Yeah. They, they really, look like they're touching they just, your eyebrows. Yeah. But then a I put them on and then they just here. literally lifted up. So yeah. I don't know if that's because yeah. of these parts on my face or not. Yeah. But from my face, they yeah, definitely don't sit right. Yeah. They kind of lift up. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of like all in one type of uh, material. Mm-hmm. The frame and the lenses look. So it doesn't feel as exaggerated as on when you. on you. Yeah, but, maybe because um, um, they're sprung out a little bit more. The, it does feel a little bit gappy under mm-hmm. here. I probably wouldn't like to wear these when I'm doing construction um, and touching my eyebrows again. I think they would fog up a little bit on me. Mm-hmm. Um, the the darkness of the tint is good. The comfort is good. Mm-hmm. They're not really pushing too hard on yeah. any of the parts of my head, but. Um, being that it's a smaller glass, I probably wouldn't like to do construction with it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so definitely suits someone with a slightly smaller head, I think. Yeah. Yep. So that was the 6702. And here's X series, yep. part number 3102. Yep. An outdoor tinted. Yeah. They kind of look like sunglasses a bit again. Yep. They feel really smooth putting. Mm-hmm. So you got a bit more of a matte finish. Mm. Um, I think the other types that we showed, which were similar, 
um, had a gloss finish on the mm. frames. So this is, yeah, it's just a very sort of matte black, satin They're black. really comfortable. Yeah. No, you definitely cut them down yeah. my cheeks so it'll be very protective yeah. for me. Yeah, and wear something like a that. generous gap above yeah. the where the eyebrows are so that would probably stop it from fogging up as much. Mm. Yeah, almost identical sort yeah. of to how you were describing them. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the arms are fairly straight, but it doesn't really feel like they would fall off mm. um, unless I was doing something extreme. So, um, yeah, they're very comfortable, except they're probably not my style. But, yeah, yeah it's got quite a good glass. Mm -hmm. And for the final one is probably this one on the box here. So these come with like a protective case. Yeah, got a little pouch to um, be microfiber, some strings to be able to pull those and keep those in uh, good for wiping the glasses mm -hmm. and uh, storing them in your in your vehicle, I guess. This says Y series, PC yep. smoke anti-fog. Yep, Medium so PC impact. would say would be polycarbonate, I guess. I'm oh, not yeah. sure. Yep, mm -hmm. but smoke and then anti-fog. Mm -hmm. Yep, medium impact. Yep. yep. Uh, or actually the PC might be something to do with the polarised. Um, so uh, these are the radium, they're called. So um, scratch-resistant, shatterproof, cool-proof, whatever that means, ultraviolet-proof. Um, so uh, I think these, from memory, these were polarized. So most sunglasses, most specs and sunglasses probably aren't polarized. Um, and um, I think that that would just uh, be things like um, if you're looking at a building with glass or a vehicle with glass, you know, you don't get so much um, reflections and light light reflections off it and the colours can sometimes look a little bit um, different, maybe pop a little bit more. Um, so I, can't, I just can't see anything on here that says polarised, although I was sure that these were polarised. Um, uh, I just can't see it written anywhere. So, um, it, yeah, I think I'm I'm 99.9% .9 sure that they're polarised. I'll just have mm -hmm. to um, double-check that. But um, how did you find them? They feel definitely like, I don't know, heavier than all yep. these ones. Like they've definitely yep. like feel like a stronger yep. glass yep. glasses. So uh, these would be much more expensive than the others yep. because they're polarised. Mm -hmm. Um and they're, yeah, just more of a fashionable type safety glasses. So yeah. um, a lot of these other ones are um, uh, um, just the budget end, so probably 10 to $20 mm -hmm. uh, pair, um, whereas these ones would be more up around the $70 or something per yeah. pair. Um, no, they're, they're comfortable in me. And I guess having this sort of particular look, I think the Arnett is mm. the type of style that, that might be sort of, uh, you know, mimicking or taking a um, uh, inspiration from. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I guess if fashion is important to you when you're looking at safety specs, these would be some of the more fashionable types. There was a few others, but um, mm -hmm. uh, I never really liked wearing the Arnett's and that just because they uh, didn't suit my face. But mm -hmm. Um, I think uh, people that like that sort of uh, look or style or suits their face would definitely be the people that would choose these. Yeah. Um, yeah, plenty of room at the top so they probably wouldn't fog up too much. Um, a little bit of room at the bottom but mm -hmm. not too much. I can hardly see the frame at all. Tiny bit down here, pretty clear. Yeah. Nice and dark, not too dark. Um, but, um, yeah, very comfortable. They're not really going to fall off my head at all. I've got a matte frame and a little chrome bit of bling here. I'm not sure uh, what the tint is. It's not a smoke. It's kind of like more of like a transparent sort of black, which um, some of these others were called smoke and it's got a very different look to the lens, I guess. Um, but that's probably about it and all we need to do about um, in this video for this range. Uh, so we'll put this uh, video up against all these different types. Um, there are other types that we sell. And um, uh, so, yeah, if you want to buy any of these products, you can go to 
www.advancegroup.com.au. And if you like this video, you want to see more videos like this, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks, bye.